The death of a disabled teenager is being investigated by the coroner after she choked to death on a latex glove while in respite care. The grieving family of Sophia Nisko is demanding answers, saying the system failed her. Hannah Ford reports. Cheeky, with a lot of spunk. That's how Nella describes her daughter, Sophia. She was my everything. Yeah, she made everyone smile. She was always happy, always happy. Mm. The 16-year-old lived with a severe disability. In January, Sophia's family received a hard-fought government package for extra care. A month later, she was found lifeless on the floor of her disability living respite home in Felixstowe. It's believed she choked after swallowing a latex glove. She would have wanted to be here. She, she was taken. Sophia required constant care, but Nella and her partner Nikki claimed she'd been left alone for almost half an hour when she died. For a fact, there was only two carers to four children at that particular time that she died. And Sophia's one-on-one. -on -one. And Sophia was one-on-one. -on -one. Disability Living have released a statement saying it's cooperating with relevant authorities investigating the death. In the meantime, her family want to give Sophia a voice, demanding better training for disability carers. A view echoed by disability advocates. And I think it's a really great opportunity to review the training that existing and incoming workers are receiving. It's because I don't want any other child or family to go through what we've gone through. Hannah Ford, 10 Eyewitness News.